Hi, everybody, and happy weekend. Oh my gosh, Snooky Louise. I miss you today. Where were you? What were you doing here? Your eyes have goobies in them. But anyway, so hi, everybody, and happy weekend. The weekend is finally here. It is Friday. I just got home from work, changed, and now I am just relaxing here. Um, it is really cold outside, although the sun is out, so I'm happy about that uh, with the sun being out, but I heard by next week we're supposed to be in the 50s, and uh, we need it badly. But anyway, what do I have going on this weekend? Um, well, the rescue decided to call me, and I believe I am getting two guinea pigs tomorrow, or a guinea pig. I'm not real sure. I'll let you guys know. Um when I find out, but yes, I am picking them up tomorrow, I think tomorrow, like around nine or tomorrow morning. Um, so that will be good. And then I have to get everything kind of ready in here for them. Um, so I'm kind of excited because it's been a while since I've had guinea pigs. Maybe, I don't know, has it been like two or three weeks since the last guinea pig I had, um, you know, gave birth and all those babies were adopted. So anyway, um, but what else is going on with us, Snooky? What's happening? Um, question. Do any of you out there have tongue piercings? The reason I ask is a certain some little one that I know decided to get his or her tongue pierced without my knowledge and now we think it's infected and I'm telling this certain somebody to take the piercing out of the tongue because number one when I told this certain somebody while they were growing up I said don't get any piercings tattoos I don't care about or I'm sorry not any piercings don't get your tongue pierced because tattoos I don't care about uh, piercings in the nose I don't care about, in the ears, in the cartilage, wherever. Just don't get your tongue because I feel like that is definitely a bacteria growing thing that's happening and now there's problems and I'm telling you guys if people would just listen to me and do as I say, we would have no problems in the world. So anyway, um, right now I'm going to enter all of my post crossing stuff in because I did pick up stuff from the post office and I have a big stack of it to get through and um, then Snooky and I are just going to relax today so I will check in a little bit Hi, later. Everyone. So I uh, just wanted to update you guys on the guinea pigs. The rescue did contact me, and I am going to be picking up two boys tomorrow. Um, one of the boys has a tilted head, and they said it was because they let an ear, the person who had them uh, before, he had an ear infection, and they let the ear infection go for too long, and now he has a head tilt, which is very unfortunate, but I'm going to have to uh, give him medication every day, just like I did. There was a guinea pig in the past that I had to give medication to. Um, oh, what was his name? Not Sweet Pea. Pee Wee. His name was Pee Wee. He was this tiny little guinea pig, and he had a skin infection, and I finally got it to the point where it cleared up with medication, and it did take a long time. But anyway, so I'm going to be uh, picking up those guinea pigs tomorrow morning. And right now, speaking of ear problems and equilibrium problems, I am dizzy as fuck. Sometimes I get this where, um, I think I get calcium deposits actually in either in my ear or like around my ear canal. And I just, my equilibrium is just off completely. So whenever I put my head down or like tilt it back, kind of like I am now, the room is literally spinning and spinning and spinning. Um, but anyway, so right now I'm going to have some dinner. I just have a frozen pizza um, heating up in the oven because I didn't really know what else to make. And then I need to take out the garbage. Nothing really big. I'm going to be watching uh, Netflix tonight and then also catching up on my YouTube uh, videos that I need to watch. Uh, the people that I'm subscribed to 
Also, my deep thoughts with AZ for Angela came out today, and I think some of you guys don't get the humor in the series. Um, if you guys remember all of you oldies but goodies out there from Saturday Night Live, um, there was a little skit that they used to have by Jack Handy. It was Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. And um, I just want to do my own deep thoughts. And if you guys don't understand it, then, you know, or some of you don't understand it, then that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a video every Friday and it's going to be my deep thoughts, whether it be a quote, whether it be extremely funny, whether it be vulgar, or whether it just be me saying a few sentences and that's it. Um, so hopefully you guys understand it, but by now, um, the second deep thoughts will be up. Uh, it goes up every Friday, so it'll be Good Friday uh, when you guys see that, um, which Good Friday has already passed right now. But um, yeah, so I'm going to eat something and hopefully feel better soon. Hi, everyone. So I am just driving in my car, and I thought I would show you guys uh, we are at Riverside again. It is 7 o'clock at night and do you guys see how absolutely beautiful and clear the lake is tonight? Now this week, this is all open water um, and then you'll also see here, those are the ice pushes, but you can see all the way across the lake. It is absolutely breathtaking, you guys. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. Sorry, it's so, like, light over there, or dark. Ugh, now it's really light. Son of a Good bitch. Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. So, the guinea pigs have just arrived at their cage, and... <sighs> oh, one of them does have a little head tilt. Um, it's very, very slight. He still has an ear infection, and the other one is absolutely huge. The pig is really big. They started eating right away, um, so let me show you them. So it's kind of hard to see, but here is one of the males. I didn't even get their names, you guys. Um, they started eating right away, and this is the one over here with the head tilt. He's kind of hard to see. Um, he's a very, he has a very slight head tilt, like you can barely see it at all, but um, he does have a little bit of brown on the back side of his body, and that's how I know which one is which, uh, because they do look very similar, only this one is a little bit smaller. Here he comes. And the other one is absolutely huge. Oh yeah, he looks a little, he looks a little touched just touched by Jesus a little bit um, and then here is the other one here and like I said they're pretty big so I'm hoping that they don't jump out of the cage because that's the last thing I would need. Hi everyone so I am just getting back from the bank and now going to the post office I have to mail a swap that I was in a private swap on Swapbot and then I also have to check my P.O. box and it's pretty sunny here today in Wisconsin but it's still cold. Um, when I woke up this morning I think it was like I don't know 20 something or less. It was pretty cold outside uh, but I'm just waiting for next week when it's supposed to be warmer and uh, Maybe I can get out my capris. So, of course, the post office doesn't open until 9.30, and I should have remembered that from last time. But anyway, um, I'm at Starbucks right now. Uh, yes, can I have an iced chai uh, latte, please, in the venti size? But the iced chai latte, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, 4.46, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. Today is going to be my cleaning day. I started a little bit yesterday, but I really want to start my spring cleaning, which is a complete project within itself. But I thought I would pick my melts today, and this is basically what I have chosen. I chose BZ Tarts. This is iced lemon cookies. 
and I'm going to be doing a mixology uh, with all of these. And then I also have Sensationals in Lemon Chiffon. And then I'm going to be mixing both of those with a four pack of Front Porch Watermelon Splash. I really like lemon and watermelon mixed together. So I thought that uh, those scents would be really, really good to mix. And I've got my three warmer plates here, um, or my warmer bowls. I have all three of these actually in my living room because my living room and kitchen are kind of combined. Well, not really combined, but you know what I mean, like an open concept. So um, being that it's such kind of a big area, I like using three. And this one, yes, is extra large, um, but I mean, obviously you don't have to fill it all the way. And then, oops, for the candle, I am going to be pairing it with this Kringle lemon rind. I've had really good luck with this candle so far. Um, it's almost done and as you guys can see there's very very little soot. It was a nice clean burn. Um, so I'm going to be doing that and then also I have this candle from Yankee that I'm going to put in my kitchen which that's where I've had it. Uh, this is the star fruit and orange. This one smells just like rainbow sherbet, um, but more so, you know, a little bit more so on the orange side, but oh my gosh, you guys, it smells beautiful. Oh, it smells so juicy and the throw on this is so strong. Um, there's a pour date on here. I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go, focus, of 2013. I've noticed that the candles that have a pour date of 2013 or before are throwing magnificently. Uh, ones that are poured in late 2014 to 2015 don't have a sun throw whatsoever. Um, there's been really bad luck out there. I don't understand what is going on, but Yankee Candle is really going to have to step up their game and change. Um, I mean, right now compared or if you were to compare Goose Creek and Yankee Candle, Goose Creek would win by far with Sun Throw. I mean, Goose Creek just blows Yankee out of the water. So that is something to consider. Um, right now with ordering candles and buying candles um, and until things change, I'm not really going to be either placing any more orders with Yankee or buying. I just, you know, I kind of look at my group and kind of, you know, see what other people are saying. And right now, there are some not good things going on right now with Yankee. Uh, but anyway, so this is the star fruit and orange. And I am going to be getting all of my wax together and melting and then cleaning because I want my whole house to smell fresh like a spring morning. And here is everything all put into my little plates here. I've got one tart going on, a little chunk of Beezies, because this one is very shallow, um, so I can't really put much in here. And then a little bit of all three in this one as well. And then I just put two of the front porch tarts in here, and then also a bigger chunk of Beezies and one cube of the lemon chiffon from Sensationals. Baby, she's just sleeping away. Hey guys, so I'm looking at my candle collection from Yankee and I'm seeing all of my jars. They go straight back, all the way back, every single cubicle. And I used to have all of these, um, put into category like I had fruit on the top over here, I had bakery on the bottom over here, I had fresh over here, and then I think I had a, oh, I had floral up on top with a mixture of some other stuff and everything is all kind of like discombobulated. So I know I told you guys that I was going to be making a video on my candle collection from Yankee, like an updated version. But actually, right now, I have a lot of sorting to do, um, as you guys can see. But anyway, 
I am going to try to get that done so I can get that Yankee Candle video up for you guys. But I am going to end the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you are not subscribed as of yet. Um, and thumbs up this video if you want to see that Yankee Candle collection. And then also don't forget to stay tuned at the end of this vlog for all of my Snapchats for the week. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great weekend. Good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Come on, listen to me.